I call the member for Melbourne, the Deputy Leader of the Greens. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister, who was referred to this morning by the now acceptable parliamentary term of Typhoon Tony. Prime Minister, Typhoon Haiyan um, may be the strongest typhoon on record and, according to Australia's scientists, has been fuelled by global warming. Will you now accept the science that states climate change will make typhoons and cyclones worse? And will you heed the plea of the Philippines government delegation in Warsaw to, and I quote, take drastic action now to ensure that we prevent a future where super typhoons become a way of life? I call the Honourable the Prime Minister. Well, I thank uh, the member for his question, and I would refer him to the advice of the CSIRO, which is a very reputable body, uh, which says that uh, no one no one weather event uh, should be attributed to climate change. That's the advice of the CSIRO, that no particular weather event should be attributed to climate change. Now, if I, if I may, uh, for the benefit of the member, Madam Speaker, say that uh, uh, the government accepts that uh, climate change is real, that humanity does make a contribution, the important thing is to take strong and effective action to deal with it. The problem with the former government's carbon tax policy is that under the carbon tax our domestic emissions were going up, not down. Uh, under this government's direct action policy, we will deliver a 5 per cent cut in emissions by 2020. We are taking strong action. The former government, aided and abetted by the member in question, uh, was introducing a policy of socialism masquerading as environmentalism. <laughs>